I feel like you do get a lot of credit as far as some of the things you just said, but I don't think you get enough credit when it comes to some of the artists who you kind of have taken over your, under your shoulder, like over your shoulder before they were quote unquote popping. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I always see you embracing younger artists before the rest of the world really knows who they are. Um, I know recently you had talked about uh, famous Dex was sitting uh, sleeping on your couch. You know what I'm saying? He, he was supposed to sign you originally. Yes. And then that obviously didn't have, didn't happen. Uh, what happened there? He just, he just, he just, he, he chose another label. Even though you gave him a place to stay. Yes. Damn. I feel like, um, you, there's a bunch of artists like that though. You know what I'm saying? That you really kind of, you know, you were kind of the first guy to really fuck with them that, that of, of some notoriety. Like who are some of the artists that you feel like you kind of help, help, school a little bit when they first were coming up. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to say that you like put them on or nothing, but just some artists that you feel like you really kind of helped. Like you was that I'm big done homie. talking about that. Like, I feel like the proof is in the pudding. You know what right. I'm saying? Do the yeah, history, bro. do the YouTubes, do the, I'm done giving away clout. I'm done giving away free promo. I'm done saying rapper name. If I helped you cool, if you made it cool, if you didn't make it cool, I don't, I don't have no love. I'm done. Like, I don't even care no more. You know what I'm saying? Would you ever know. take a label job? Like if a label wanted to hire Soldier Boy to be yes, like the vice president. I'm supposed, supposed to be the CEO of, of one of the major labels right now. I supposed to be the president of one of these labels right now. Look how many artists I discovered for y'all. That's what I was gonna say. The artists that y'all bumping for the last however many years been me. So why shouldn't I have a position at the label? I just found all the talent that y'all that y'all listening to. Oh, you right. could be A and R for sure. You run the whole A and R department. No, ain't no A and R CEO. CEO. You heard him. CEO. CEO. Kid. But you got an ear. Ain't no A and R. Ain't no little nothing. I need the whole lay. I need everything. They tripping. That's why I got my oh. own label though. But see, I wasn't an artist that was putting these artists in contracts. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be in a contract. You were just I, helping them out genuinely. Nah, it wasn't no the genuine paperwork. shit. Y'all supposed to keep it real and still did the paperwork. But off the jump, I'm not finna just put you in no crazy contract and then your career, something happened to your career and then you looking at me. And then you right, right, right. So I'm thinking off the strength. We working off a handshake. You, we working off loyalty and your word is all you got in this world. Mm. So we working off your word. I'm thinking we finna ride it out till we we gonna ride it all the way out. Right. That's what happened with 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 Dex. I'm assuming. That's what happened with everybody. But everybody. I ain't tripping. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? You just on a new wave right now. You work, yeah, work on your own. Yeah, I ain't tripping. Shout no out more to free them. clout. Man, just shout get your out own to them. Shit. Salute to them, man. Much love, much respect, whatever. But you know, I got my new label, 2021. I just signed my new artist, Flo Malcolm. You know Flo Malcolm? Yes. Fire. Atlanta. He got the Atlanta going crazy. I got to bring him out to the West Coast so y'all can tap in with him. But 